like five years old and that's not cool. Actually, ma'am, this is the truth. Okay, but this five is year the old truth. Not be seeing this. this is the truth. And yeah. it's going to be shown. And it's but going to be exposed. No matter how much people try to hide it, it is going to be exposed. Okay, well, I like that. Okay. And what's even worse, ma'am, does your five year old nephew know that his aunt thinks that that is perfectly okay? You don't know what his aunt thinks. You. I think it's not okay. You just said he's your nephew. Yeah, he's my nephew. So you're his aunt. That's why you think it's okay to bring a safe to a learning school. environment, which is supposed to be unbiased. You can protest where you can. Supposed to be unbiased? Who's kidding who now? Who's kidding who now? It's supposed to be unbiased. Yeah. It is not unbiased, ma'am. It is not unbiased. Just because it teaches us science and teaches us that a fetus is not a sentient being. Does not that is not science, ma'am. That is science. that is what people want to believe. That's okay? Science. You take a basic neonatology course and it says that uh, life begins at conception. Life, not sentience. There's a difference. Oh, so if somebody's not sentient, we should kill them? Exactly. Oh, so if somebody is born brain damaged, we should kill them? To a certain extent. To a certain extent? What do you do with people when they have no brain activity and they're in a hospital after a crash? You debate taking them off life support. No, that's exactly. what man wants to do. Because man doesn't want the responsibility of caring for people. That's right, that's what happens, and that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Okay? God's words. Do you first off you believe in God? So at least I know who I'm talking with? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Well, God's word says that he knew you before you were formed in your womb. Whether you are sentient according to if man. That's the only argument for this that it shouldn't be in a place of education where religion is not enforced on us. You're, you're right. Also, this religion is enforced upon you. The religion of murder and death, that is. That is what you are taught. I mean, I'm listening to you tell me the things that you have learned in school. I respect everything that you view. I respect that you believe this. I mm -hmm. respect that people believe this. In you hold a sign that says, our body, our choice. Yes. Okay. Because it affects our body in the long run. Oh, in the long run. You know, you should consider yourself so lucky that your mother didn't decide, well, this is really con inconveniencing my body. I should kill you. I don't consider myself lucky. That was her choice. You don't consider yourself lucky? No. That you're here? Well, I hate to tell you, man, but you are a survivor of a holocaust. You are a survivor. Okay? And nobody, nobody has the right to do something to somebody else. You do not want a child. And that child's born into this family. Do you not think that's going to create an environment where abuse can happen? Oh, so if, if, if a child may be abused, we should kill them. If a parent doesn't want the child, then why bring it into a So if a parent doesn't want a child, they should kill them. If it's not a child yet. Oh, if it's not a child yet. A fetus is not a child yet. A fetal, what does fetus mean? A fetus. Is what does it mean? What is the definition? See, words have meanings. Okay? Words have meanings. What does a fetus mean? You're using these words. Do you think you should know what they mean? Child in the womb. I think abortion is okay as long as it's not a sentient being. That means it has a neurological system that functions and allows mm -hmm. it to feel pain. Because despite that's what, what God's word people, says. Despite what you've been telling people, the fetus cannot feel anything in an abortion unless it's done legally in the third trimester. Oh, because man decided that's when they could decide yes, they could feel pain. That's when it becomes a sentient uh -huh. being. Yeah. It only makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Right. To those who want to do what they want to do, it makes perfect it's sense. Not human, and it's not to those who want to be obedient to God, it doesn't make perfect it's sense like because God's God. word says that that baby has a soul, okay? And it doesn't matter whether it's the first day of conception or the last day. There's nothing that magical that makes that baby less or more of a baby once it comes through a birth canal. It makes it less of a baby before the third trimester where it's not a Because you decided it was. Because it's not a sentient Because you decided it was. It's not a Because what you want to do is you want the right... Oh, so babies are germs? Excuse me, sir. I'll stop wasting your time. Thank you very much. God bless you. Would you like one? Yes. May I take a picture with you? Sure can. But make sure you get the sign, because that's what, that's, that's you know. I am, I love this. Okay. And tag me. God bless you. You'll find me on your school you site. All the schools? Yes, we do. I like it. I like it. Yes, we God do. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Did you get one?
I'll take one. You can get this liberal trash out of here. Oh, my bad, sir. Where's Sebastian? Sebastian! Here you go. Oh, oh thank you. Yes. Trump! Have a nice day. I just think it's incredibly funny how the only argument past the science is religion. The only argument past the science is religion. You see, like you said, it, it, you're you're of the mind that well, I just want to ignore some of the science and I want to rely on the rest. I want to ignore some of the science. Sure you do. Okay, a life is a life. As soon as that egg is fertilized, it begins to modalize. A germ is alive. It's a nonsense. Right. So you are equating. You are equating, and this is this shows you just where your thought process is. You are equating yourself because. A, an ant is a life, right? Sure. A bug is a life, right? So you're equating yourself and your value to a germ, no. to an ant. A a fetus at the point where it could be aborted is not a sentient being. That so, so since that fetus, since that fetus can't take care of themselves, we should kill them, right? Well, no, they're not exactly. That's not the argument. Mm -hmm. well, the argument I'm making is that it's not a sentient being. And you know that. And you know that. I know that. Unfortunately, you, you go against what science says. No, I don't. Okay. Science says that it does not. What day? Which day is it that they become a sentient being? Third trimester. Oh, so when we decide. Okay. But when we decide. The neurological system that functions and allows them to feel bad. Do you know that the neurological system is in place by the 42nd day? Did you know that? It's not a functioning. It is a functioning neurological system on the 42nd day. Okay. Okay. Um, Even the pro-choicers agree that they feel pain at 20 weeks. That's not the third trimester. All right. Do you know what a trimester is? Yes, I do. What is it? It's a section of the pregnancy. Right. How? What? What point does a trimester begin? First trimester, second trimester, third trimester. Why do I need to know that? Well, because you're arguing that these are not sentient beings without a. Science doesn't say that. Okay. Unfortunately, you're saying what you want to hear. No, I'm not. I'm saying well, sure you are. You're spilling what's not the truth. You're spilling okay. propaganda. You're sitting here saying that they do not feel pain. I agree okay. with you. Uh, what's up, you. YouTube? Here, take one of these. Uh, I completely agree with what y'all are doing. Um, no, I, just I just feel it well. may not in front of the school. <laughs> but Why? Look at it. Look at, we're not in front of the school. No, but... I, well, I understand. I completely agree with the movement and whatnot. This is exactly where we're supposed to be. You know that one out of three women in this school will kill their child? No. Yeah. All right. Well, that's legit. Okay. Okay. Do you know that every minute two babies die? When you sit in your class today and you look at the clock, every minute that passes by, you can know two babies just died. Okay. I mean, it is. It's. So awful. What's going on? It, it, it's not awful. It's murder. It's a holocaust. Yeah. Okay. And unfortunately, people want to have the right to sleep around and then not have to explain to mommy and daddy that they got pregnant. That's the truth. That people want to get away from this because they don't want the responsibility of their actions. And that is what has been going on. Okay. People don't want the responsibilities for their actions. They want somebody else to pay the responsibility. And that's exactly what this is. Look, which of these two human beings was conceived in rape? Because these people say, well, that one should die. That one should live. Which yeah. one? Who, who decides? It's, it's ridiculous. Are you a Christian? Yes. Well, God's word decides. Oh, I'm out of booklets. Anyway. Hold on. Hey, you got booklets? Yeah, I do. Not giving them all to you, though. Right. There you go, man. Hey, thank you for coming out. You're supposed to first remember, right, sir? Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Thank you. My name's Matt. Very nice to meet you. Nice to Have meet you. Uh, come on out and talk with us, man. That's what we're here to do. Talk to people. Yeah.